Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about few more concepts okay about react typescript and we are going to build the pokemon card application okay so what we are doing here is this is the pokemon type and we are having all these properties and we already have some data for the pokemon like picasso and Bulbasaur. these are the two pokemons and we don't have a complex logic you reload and randomly one of the pokemon data will show okay the objective of this example is just to understand the typings okay and how we can make a call through the use effect hook for the async data because what we are going to do in the pokemons we are going to write a method which we can call uh, from the components to fetch to fetch any random pokemon data so export const fetch pokemon and what this method is going to do this method is returning a promise so what we can do is this is this method is returning a promise of a pokemon object so this is a pokemon type and what we will do is we are using this lord s shuffle library it, do, it does nothing but it randomly select one of the index from an array so we are just using shuffle and we are just passing the data which we imported from the data.ts and we are returning the promise because this method should return the promise of type pokemon so here fetch pokemon we got the pokemon object and we can just return this okay so this is the method we have written now what we will do is let's go to our components application.tsx which is empty and now we will start filling up our component so here what we are going to do is we are going to create a simple pokemon component so here we can import react quickly import everything as react from react and the, our component will be simple here we are going to have const pokemon this is our component and what we are doing going to do is export default pokemon okay now what we are going to do in this component this component will receive uh, in this component we are going to call another component here we are going to call the pokemon information so this component is going to return the pokemon information after fetching up the data so what it is doing it is functional component okay and what it is returning is it should return something now we can just pass do and we are going to have another component which is pokemon information pokemon information and we are going to pass the pokemon data in the pokemon information we have to pass the all the information like the simple pokemon object we can say and now this pokemon data should be coming from somewhere because we are going to have a huge state hook and all these things we are going to have here so const pokemon set pokemon and this data is initialized with pokemon type react dot use state okay and we are going to import pokemon type and fetch pokemon this data these methods from the pokemon which we have defined this is the type so we can use our use state will use the same type and how this is can be pokemon type or null and we are initializing this with a null because now we have we have defined okay uh, we are initializing either with the pokemon type or null so we can initialize it with a null right and we will have use effect hook which will say okay uh, the data has been received so we can also have a loading 
that will say until you get the data from the sync api we can show some kind of a loading react dot huge state this is of type uh, boolean so initially loading will be true and this is of type boolean so we'll just use that now what we are going to do in the use effect we are going to make a call to this fetch pokemon and based on that we are going to set the loading property initially that is true so react dot use effect i mean this is not auto complete otherwise it's easy to write code in just one single line okay so we are going to pass the empty dependency array here we already have the method fetch pokemon which we are going to call and this is going to return as a promise so we can use dot then if we receive the data then we can use the data to set our huge state hook here we can call set pokemon set pokemon with the data and we can say set loading is false because now we have received the data we can set it to false pokemon information is the component which we need to build right now i mean here we can just say if loading is true then we can say something like loading otherwise we can render this component simple ternary operation based on the condition why it is complaining okay now pokemon information the component we need to build so we can build that here only pokemon information this is also a functional component because it will be receiving data and based on the data the objective is just to render the data okay so pokemon information the type is react dot functional component it is going to receive props now because there are too many properties in the pokemon and we already have a pokemon type so we can use that to define the props for it so what we are doing here is we can set type pokemon props so what we are receiving we are receiving pokemon this is the property which is of type uh, this is of type pokemon type which we already have so we can use it and we can pass the pokemon props the props are of type pokemon props and this is functional component so you have to return something and what we are returning is now i also wanted to have another set of components for the table and table row because we have pokemon information i wanted to show them in the tabular information so i wanted to create custom table component and table row component that will give us just more practice about this typescript type definitions and i am going to have table row that is another component and here i will be passing the value so we got this props table props right and here inside the props we have pokemon so what i can do here is let's say i'm accessing one particular property table row we are passing value property and here it will be props dot pokemon dot one particular property let's say combat okay so i'm creating table i will i will be creating table and the table row component here i will have a heading is let's say combat this is just a single property about the pokemon strength so we need to create a table component and all these are table row component that can talk about each and every strength of the pokemon so it's like we have a table as a parent component and the table row as a child component and they might be talking about individual property props dot durability uh, i mean these are just a random mock json properties power 
and we have speed I can add speed okay I mean instead of doing this we can also do it little better like let's say inside the props we can say Pokemon right so we don't need to worry about passing the props just a little bit of cleanup okay now we need to just worry about these two components one is a table and one is a table row why this is complaining maybe because the components are not defined properly so return okay sorry I didn't close any of it that's the problem with the JSX let me fix it okay now every JSX tag has opening and closing now we need to worry about uh, table and table row component that's the only thing we are left with okay so we are going to create a table component so let's go to the top and here you know the table has a lot of children's right so how the table props would look like that will that will also talk about our previous examples which we have discussed about the prop types for the children's right here we can just define table props and table props will have this is actually a type table props and we have a children and children type will be react dot react node that covers everything and you will not get any error for this so here table props so we are passing children here children is of type table props and we can just say return simple html table with children's inside it i just added this table and table row just to explain few more concepts so we have what is the problem here we have table props can't find okay this is okay this table component table props and now we have table row component and this table props table is the parent component and table row is a child component and table row is taking two parameters heading and value right i mean two properties in the props so we can also define the type for this table row props right and here we have two things heading let's assign it as a string and see heading and value value is also of type string and we can just define table row component same as type table table row okay we have table row looks like this and we are passing two properties here it is also react functional component i mean you can pass the typings here directly and use props or what you can do is you can just say i am passing heading and value and then we can use the heading and value in the jsx here it is table so it is a row and columns heading and value that's it right now our component is done why it is complaining let's say number is not assignable to the type string okay I mean sometimes it is a number sometimes it is a string so what we can do here is we can set the type of value to the Pokemon type and based on the key we have to specify it so Pokemon type and key of Pokemon type based on that we can capture the value key of pokemon type 
So if it is of type number, it will accept as a type number. If it is of type string, it will accept as a string. Okay, now this should be sorted. Cool. I think there is no any warning. Okay, this is Pokemon, what it is complaining. Null is not assignable to the Pokemon type. Type null is not assignable to type. Pokemon information. Pokemon props. Okay. Because this can be of type and null both. So this should fix our problem. Now why it is complaining? If it is null, then yes. If it is null, then you can't access these properties. These are like compile time validation, you see. What all different advantages we are getting out of it. So our time we can say is if Pokemon is coming, then only try to access this property. Now we have a problem with the value, I think. So what is the solution for this? We are passing the values from the Pokemon's component. So let's go to Pokemon information and here we are passing the Pokemon dot strength value and all. It should not be of type null that should fix the problem. So Pokemon information here while doing this we can make sure that Pokemon is not being passed as a null right. This is what we can do. So here we can do the check if loading is there and Pokemon is there then only try to render this if loading is there and Pokemon is there loading is there and Pokemon is not there then only show the loading otherwise show the Pokemon let's see if this fixes the problem Okay, null is not assignable to Pokemon null when Pokemon information. What if I remove the type null and initialize it with some empty object? Then I have to define all the properties and types, right? So it's all type script thing. Now we are getting into if I set this null, this is allowed because I have set this Pokemon type null so here we can see I mean the problem was like if Pokemon is null then we are passing Pokemon as a null and that is not assignable to the Pokemon because so here we can do the check we should be rendering this Pokemon information component only if Pokemon is not null and that's also a problem right so this is how we can work on and this is the beauty of react with the typescript this can be we can improve it uh, I mean a little bit better like we can just check the loading state if loading is false then only check for the Pokemon object and then only render the Pokemon information okay uh, thanks everyone so what we are doing currently we are just heading we are putting the same heading and same property that's why you can see uh, the output showing only combat and we can put some more styling and we can also put the name property what is the name of the Pokemon which is not there I think we have a name property and this is our Pokemon right name Pikachu if you reload it there may be because it's randomly selecting that like selecting the array index and setting it in our Pokemon now this is another Pokemon right so this is how it is working thanks everyone thanks for watching